Well folks, here we go with the first of our finals. This is Mike Harris in Street ET. All Mike has to do is break the beams because his opponent can't make it. Any which way they come, it's still classed as a win. Although it looks easy for Mike to win this way, he put a lot of hard work into getting there. Now our Pro UT final with Bruce Sauer and Mike Konopaki. Mike travels all the way from Oshawa, Ontario to these races. Bruce hails from Reynoldsburg in Ohio. Bruce's last pass was an on the money 890 with a 6. Mike's last pass was an 889 with a 3. Mike Konopaki's motors I believe are prepared by Paul Guest. Bruce having a problem there on red lighting. That leaves Mike to solo on through and take home the trophy. Well done, Mike. Next up is our top gas final with Kenny Dermanellian and Tony Mullen. Kenny comes all the way from Dundee in Michigan and Tony from Brayton in Florida. These guys also benefited from the track conditions this weekend, making for extremely consistent running. Tony Mullen having transmission problems, Kenny takes the win. Next, our Supergas final with Tony Gilliam and Steve Japanese Johnson. Steve takes home the trophy on that one with a 10 flat. Hot Rod Cruiser coming right up. This is turning out to be a very popular and competitive class. We're looking at Terry Reid who made his way to the finals with a series of low tens. And the other lane is Ripley Waters, who also got there with a series of low tens. Should be some close stuff. Both riders on Harley Davidsons. By my reckoning that makes the race very even indeed. does to take it with another 10 flat. Well done. Formula Superbike up for their final now with Jim Carroll and Phil Davis. Jim Carroll number one qualifier, Phil Davis number two. Jim rides on a Kawasaki and Phil on a Suzuki. Both of these bikes will run in the low eights with no problem. Jim's taken an early lead with a 472 light. He's going to keep that all the way. He takes the win with an 814. Street bike shootout. This will be a hot one. Number one and two qualifier of Ricky Gadsden and Ken Stotts. Absolutely nothing between them. That's Ken with his 1100cc 99 Honda. In the other lane, Rick has a 1200cc Kawasaki. Ken making very sure that he's in the best possible spot. Ricky's crew picking out that sweet spot for him in the other lane. Ricky hails from Sicklerville in New Jersey. Kent from Chambur, Illinois. Ricky's 
tries just a little too hard. It's a 349 red. I think you'll find that 764 is a record. Well done.